Hello everyone. Um, for those who don't know me, I am Allie Marie. I am an international best-selling author. I have co-authored in books such as Sovereign, Jaguar Medicine, Magdalene Codes. I have written my own book, Journey Through the Soul to Find a New Beginning. Um, and I am the creator and CEO of Sacred Woman Healing, Sacred Woman Publishing, and Sacred Woman Podcast. Um, so I just kind of wanted to come on and uh, do a grounding ceremony. I haven't led ceremony in quite a while. Um, I just, I guess you kind of, I kind of took a break from it. Um, so if you want, you can go look through my other videos that are on here. Um, but I am air and fire. So I have a, um, my double air sign mixed with fire. Um, and I have very little earth in my, actually I don't have any earth in my chart at all. Um, so I wanted to do a grounding ceremony because I have been feeling very, very, very ungrounded. Um, and I have been going through, and I know everybody else has been going through new shifts and new transformations. Um, and instead of feeling my way through it, I've been thinking my way through it. And as a double air sign, that is not very good. Um, I tend to overthink everything and second guess myself and all the things. Um, I am very, very, very Gemini and at times it drives me absolutely insane. So I just kind of wanted to come on and um, share my grounding meditation. I'm going to be working with uh, Garnet two garnet stones. They're very um, grounding. They're very healing energy. So one way you can work with these is since there's two, you can hold them in your palms and do meditation that way. Um, today I think I'm going to do a little toroidal field work. Um, and since I want to ground my energy best I can, I'm actually going to put them right by my root chakra and I'm going to pull the grounding energy from Mother Gaia up through my toroidal field and I'm going to kind of make an energy bath with it. I'm going to be using uh, my double terminated Lemurian uh, clear quartz crystal. It's double terminated. It's a twin because there's two. It's double terminated because there's two points. It's a Lemurian because it has the staircases, which I don't think you can see. I don't know if you can see them, but it has the staircases. So it's a Lemurian um, and it has rainbows in it. This is um, my first Lemurian crystal. It's my favorite. Um, so I'm going to be using that to amplify the grounding energies of the garnet. I'm also going to be using my athame. I think this is a smoky quartz athame, if I remember correctly. Um, and I'm going to be using that to cut away any attachments or cores to whatever jittery energy I've been feeling. Um, like today while I was trying to start the video I couldn't start it I was I ran into every single issue that you can think of um and I was feeling like I said very ungrounded which is the reason for the ceremony so I was having a like a major panic attack I've got to bring my energy down and ground it um so any extra intense energies I will be cutting away and um, I'll actually be opening a portal to send those down into Pachamama. Then I also have a candle to transmute energies 
We transmute through fire. Fire brings transformation. Um, and I'm going through this new journey that I never thought I would go through, but I am. So here we are, and we're just going to learn how to navigate those waters as best we can. So I also have the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle cards. So I will pull some cards and I'm going to smudge. I've already smudged like three times. Um, but it is definitely needed as I drop all the cards down on the floor. All right. So let's see. We'll start by smudging. And at this time I call in Archangel Michael. Um, and I guess before I do that, I will open circle. Um, and I call in uh, Archangel Michael to help transmute lower energies down into Pachamama. And um, call an Archangel Raphael to help heal whatever needs to be healed within our fields, within our toroidal fields, and to cleanse, to cleanse our chakras. I know I have not done any energy work in so long. I need all the things I need like an energetic tune up so I'm going to go ahead and set the intentions for this session it is my intention to release all lower negative energies entities through time space and dimension and to raise myself to the highest vibration that I can possibly attain and to ground myself deep into Pachamama's loving arms so that my body can rest. And with that, circle is open. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards really quick, or at least one card. Sacrifice. You must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self. Embracing it all is embracing truth. And that, I don't know, I have a horrible lighting situation, but that is the card. And as you can see, she is being grounded um, into Pachamama. And that kind of looks like what my journey is currently. Um, but that is a very fitting card for this session. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do, if you have garnet, go and grab it. I'm going to take my garnet stones and like I said, I'm going to put them down by my root chakra because I want to pull up um, grounding energy through my field as it comes out into like a water fountain bath around me. Um, okay, 
There's that. So I have my candle burning right here. And before we do all that, I'm going to go ahead and take my Lemurian and I'm going to open a portal. So I'm going to go ahead and open that portal. And at this time, it is my intention to open a portal to transmute all the lower energies that I can feel within my field and any energies that you wish to as well put in this portal with me. And the gatekeepers that are coming forward, I feel Ganesha coming forward, St. Michael is coming forward, Kalima, Okay, so starting with the root chakra, um, we are going to start cutting away lower negative energies. I have already placed the garnets. I'm actually already feeling a little more calm. I don't know if you can sense it in like my energy, um, but I do feel a little more calm. My arms are a little more heavy. Um, my chest is not as heavy it's a little more relaxed um so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start at the root chakra and we'll go all the way up to our crown chakra and just cut away any negative energies or attachments or anything that does not belong in our field <laughs> so let's see So we're going to start cutting at our root chakra. Anything that does not make us safe. And we're going to go ahead and place it into our portal that we opened. Cutting away all negative energies, all negative attachments. Through time, space, and dimension. Cut away anything that does not make us feel grounded and safe, secure, loved. We're going to throw it all away. And that's at our root. We're going to go now to our... I always get these two confused. So we have our root, our sacral, and our... Goodness, I always forget those two. So I have the root sacral and the. I'm gonna have to look it up. Bear with me just a moment. <sighs> this is how ungrounded I am. I can't even remember <laughs> the chakras. Okay, our solar plexus is next. I don't know how. Okay, anyway, solar plexus, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting negative energies, entities, anything that does not belong within our solar plexus, anything and everything that is blocking our sensuality, our sexuality, all shame, all guilt around our sexuality, our sacredness. This is where our womb is. Any trauma that we've stored from giving birth, if any of us have had a traumatic birth, I have had quite a few. Um, actually, I've only had two traumatic births. Um, anything around miscarriage, the trauma from miscarriage. I've had a miscarriage, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that away. I'm gonna cut anything and everything through time, space, and dimension. Anything from past lives, this life, anything that does not 
belong to us to carry anymore. I'm going to go ahead and cut that away. I'm going to send our womb healing. If you no longer have a womb, if you don't have a womb, if you are not born with one, you can still do this. You can send your self-love. This is our creative center. Take a moment to do a quick womb healing. Tons of trauma is stored in our wombs, our solar plexus, domestic violence issues are stored in our solar plexus. We carry so much in our wombs as women. I like to think of my womb as a beautiful dark purple cave with glittering crystals that I can enter and send love to. Take one extra moment to send love and healing to our wombs, clear out all the cobwebs, clear out all the trauma from anything and everything. This is our creative center. This is where we create. This is where we birth. This is where our ideas come from. And go ahead and clear it all out. Next, we're going to go up to our solar plexus chakra, which is, I like to think of between like right under my breastbone and right above my belly button. We're going to go ahead and cut anything away, throw it into the portal. We have our portal keepers. They will not let it come back up. It is not ours to hold anymore. Anything through our solar plexus. No, we're doing sacral. <laughs> Anything through our sacral chakra. Through time, space, dimension, any and all negative energies, attachments, anything that is not ours to carry, we can put into the portal. Anything and everything. Let's take a moment, send love to our sacral chakra. Sacral. I know that's wrong too. Sac no, that's right. Okay. No, see? Second guess myself all the time. Sending love and healing to our sacral chakra. When we send love and healing to any part of ourselves, to any part of any place in the world, to a certain person, we are also sending love to our heart chakras and we are opening up our heart chakra more, healing our heart chakra more. There is so much trauma and so much damage that we do to our heart chakras just every day. I can think of a million different times in a million different ways on every single day that I overthink something and it's probably not even true, but I end up with like another wound in my heart. So... <laughs> either induced, self-induced or not, we can send love and heal and start to open our heart chakras also. Just a few more minutes with our sacral chakra. Those deep breaths are the best. Those are signs of healing. Those are releasing the pain, the trauma, the, ener the energies that you no longer need to keep. That's all coming out in your breath. We're going to start with our heart chakra. We're just going to cut away anything and everything that no longer serves us. Again, feeling that deep, deep grounding peace from the garnets that we have at our root chakra as we continue to clear our chakras. 
for releasing any pain, any trauma, any negative energies, energy, uh, entities, any attachments that are not ours to carry, any cords that we may have connected to with other people that no longer serve us. We're going to cut those away. And we're just going to send love and healing to our heart chakra. You can tap your heart chakra. Ask Archangel Raphael to send you his beautiful green healing light into your heart chakra. The color of the heart chakra is green and pink. Take those deep breaths. Feel them in your body. We are starting to get grounded. I am feeling those breaths within my body. I am feeling the calm groundedness that I have been searching for and needing for months. We'll stay here for just a little while longer. One more breath. That one felt really good. Um, so now we are going to go ahead and do our throat chakra. I know that I have a lot of problems with my throat chakra for being a, I don't know, I guess I'm, I don't know if Geminis have trouble or not, but I have a lot of trouble with my throat chakra and I know that Geminis are ruled by Mercury. Mercury likes to talk, um, but I have a lot of trouble with my throat chakra. So we're going to go ahead and cut away any negative cords, energies, entities, attachments, um, and clear out some throat chakra junk. And I know that I have a lot of it. So here we go. Clearing energies, entities, attachments, anything and everything that um, blocks our throat chakra. <sighs> Through all time, all space, every dimension, any and every timeline. Let's send some healing love to our throat chakras. I grew up in a very traditional Catholic um, church here in Colorado. And um, my favorite feast was the Feast of St. Blaise. It was, um, we would all go up to the altar and get a throat blessing. Um, so for whatever reason, that was my favorite and probably because it did some work in healing on my throat chakra. So again, just sending love one final time. And then we'll go to our third eye chakra. Um, our third eye chakra. Usually, sorry, my son is flagging me down but anyway um usually our third eye chakra is um a lot of times calcified over um blocked it needs a lot of work a lot of times um and it doesn't really develop until you get older so i feel and i don't know if this is like scientific or anything but i feel that um since it doesn't develop until you're older a lot of times like the fluoridated water and the foods and everything that we eat are kind of working against us um, when we're little. So we're going to go ahead and um, clear out our third eye, any negative energies, attachments that have attached to our third eye, we will go ahead and get rid of through time, space, dimension. And we will send love to our third eye. I like
like to imagine my third eye as my attic. I like to clear out the cobwebs. I like to do spring cleaning and bring in flowers and make it look tidy and neat and homey and happy. Very good. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our crown chakra. This is our um, pathway to God. It's our portal to the universe and the spirit, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is how we connect to all that is greater than us. So we'll go ahead and cut cords, negative energies, entities, through time, space, and dimension. And let's send love to our crown chakra. And one more sweep will go through the crown, the third eye will go through the sh throat, the heart, the sacral the solar plexus and the root chakra and i just felt a huge wave of energy as i did that um so we'll go ahead and i will empty everything into the portal send anything and everything you want through the portal go ahead and send your deepest fears your darkest secrets um whatever it is you're feeling any negative energy any intense energy any anger any sadness any anything that you feel go ahead and send it through the portal and give it a few more minutes We are going to now close the portal. We're going to thank our gatekeepers, Archangel Michael, Ganesha, and Kalima for stepping forward to hold the portal. And we're going to seal it shut. And they will take it and do what they do. Let's sit in gratitude for the healing we've just received. And our final step, we are going to uh, work on our toroidal field. And that is the field that... Um, it's our field that interacts with everybody. It comes out in a circle around us. It's like a waterfall. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do some healing around that. We're going to ground our toroidal fields. We're going to call in healing <laughs> for our... Um, whatever you can call in whatever you want you can call in love abundance prosperity you can call in whatever you want to call in whatever you feel like you need you can call in that bigger house you want you can call in whatever you want to replace all the negative that we just got rid of you can call it in at this time as we work on our toroidal fields so again um we have the two garnets underneath on our root chakra and at this time i'm just going to call in pachamama and her beautiful grounding energy and as the oak stands tall we too are going to stand tall we're going to sit uh, with great posture and we're going to call in that energy that grounding energy 
from the garnets underneath us and we're just going to pull it up through our center and as it comes up it's going to spiral out into a waterfall all around us grounding our energy and I just felt just felt a wave of energy come up through my spine um, so be very in tune with your body and with what's happening um, and you can feel the energy shifts and again as it comes out I'm going to pull it back in through my root chakra up through my solar plexus chakra through my sacral through my heart chakra up through my throat chakra my third eye and my crown again it's going to come out in a waterfall all around me and with each breath as I come in the energy comes up and as I let the energy out or the breath out the energy comes around in a waterfall and it's bathing my toroidal field in grounding white light energy and it's going around up around and down in a waterfall keep that going If you want to, you can feel your toroidal field. Mine feels really small. I can feel it right about here, and we can push it out. My teacher taught me that you can just push it out and make it bigger. You interact with more people. You feel safe to do so. Up, down, and around. Call in your blessings, call in love, call in growth, call in patience, call in whatever it is you feel like calling in. And just feel yourself being bathed in bright white light. Right now, my left hand is full of energy. It's my receiving hand. What am I gonna? What I'm going to do is I'm going to feel a water fountain of energy coming through my palm. And I'm gonna let it reach out to my room. I'm going to let it go from my room to my city, to my state, to all the states and throughout the world. It's going to wrap around the world. And as it does that, however many times it needs to, I'm going to let it come right back to my right hand. Wrapping the world in a blanket of love and white healing light. And I'm just going to hold that energy. Calling in healing and love for the world that we live in. And now I'm going to release our candle through this flame our intentions have been transmuted transformed and so it is and this smoke is rising straight up I've always been taught to watch the smoke in our candles as they go they have meanings 
that was a lovely meditation, lovely healing. I hope you feel as good as I do. I have not done that in a very long time. I haven't even led one in a very long time. So I am glad that I was called to do that tonight. I feel so much better than I did. My anxious, nervous Gemini energy is gone. So with that, I'll go ahead and release our circle. I'll sit in deep gratitude for Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, who have come and accompanied us on our journey today. And with that, um, our meditation is finished. 